Hey, it's Biddy Penny, and today I'm working with Doodlebug Collection. It's the night before Christmas, and this is a long video. So grab a cup of cocoa and let's get into it. Um, these are the different characters that came. I just wanted to kind of show you. Got a rainbow of little boys and girls and some Santa Clauses. And this is the paper pad. I'm going to grab one page of each of the sheets. Um, with exception to this one, the one with the tags, I will not use that one. And I'm not going to use the one that is like an advent calendar. Um, and I actually end up not using all of these. I didn't need them all. So I'm going to make 10 cards today. And my focus for these, I want to show y'all the tags. They did front and back. I wasn't crazy about that. I was kind of wishing they would have put a pattern on the back, but whatever. It doesn't matter. Moving on. Card number one. The focus of my video today is building scene cards with ephemera. I thought this, when I looked through all the ephemera in this odds and ends, I just felt like it was perfect for scenes and scene building. So that's what I really wanted to focus on today and share with you guys is kind of how to make scene cards using ephemera versus stamps and such. So this first one is just like a cozy living room with a fireplace and a Christmas tree. And it's just so cute. I'm going to try not to say it's so cute all the way through the video because the stuff is adorable. <laughs> Anyway, so, you know, all of this is very simple. Um, because I wanted these to be rather flat and easy to mail, I didn't pop up too many pieces. And when I did, I used kind of a low profile foam tape. Um, I find that the stamping up one is pretty low file profile. This one is not, but I just need to use it up. So I had my card bases already ready to go and I'm just going to glue this down. Now, because the video is already like 25 plus minutes long, I didn't do the insides of the cards on video with y'all today. I only did the fronts. I just loved this little they had a little um, chair like this one, a little wing back chair for a dog, and they had one for a cat, and I just thought they were so cute. So of course I had to use those. I love that they included the window and everything. I punched this piece of paper out with a punch, a scallop punch to give the Christmas tree a skirt and a place to put the two little dog bones that are wrapped up and there's a ball that's wrapped up like a gift. It's just so cute. So I've got to put those under the tree. And my daughter saw this card and she's like, oh, that naughty kitty cat already got one of its balls out before Christmas to play with it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, in her mind, the kitty cat had two gifts under the tree, but has already gotten one out. Uh, she's pretty funny. She, uh, cats being mischievous makes her laugh. And she, we, she's always kind of been like a little cat. She's a little bit fierce and, and totally funny and pretty independent. So she's like our cat. Card number three. Now, card number three and four are pretty similar. Like, uh, there was a little boy and a little girl each in their rooms, in their beds. Um, so these are going to be similar to one another. I had fun thinking about the pattern paper being like the rug or the wallpaper of these rooms. Like... Again, I thought of my daughter with this card because Christmas movies play all year in our house. 
She is seven and a half. I broke it to her this summer that Santa Claus wasn't real. She was really disappointed, but I figured she had six months to get over it before Christmas. <laughs> I have since regretted that decision of telling her that Santa isn't real, but whatever. We replaced it with what is real, which is Daddy Claus. So anyways, I could just imagine her having Santa Claus wallpaper in her room on at least one wall. Especially if it was Doodlebug. She loves Doodlebug so much. <laughs> when I got this paper pad, um, she flipped through it to pick out the pages she wanted. And the little brown gingerbread page was a must-have for her. So cute. So how could I say no? All right, so I'm just taping all of this stuff down, and this little girl has a sweet tooth like my daughter, too, and she's dreaming of all the sweetness of Christmas. Last year, my daughter kept getting out of bed, and so she got up in the middle of the night, and she was so excited about what Santa brought her that she went back to bed, and then she got up again because she's like, I just had to make sure it was real. And I had put something out for her in between her wake up. So when she got up again, she's like, oh my gosh, there's more. And it was just so hilarious. Like she kept going to bed and getting back up. Uh, it's, it's so wonderful having kids. Like my husband and I always joke about how boring it would be without our children <laughs> like the holidays wouldn't be nearly as special I don't think and just in general they keep us going between my son and my daughter they keep us in stitches for the most part okay so that scene is done So I'm just going to play a little bit of music here and let the video play and you'll see the cards I make and I will check back in with you guys.
Okay, so card number eight. It's going to be another slimline card. And I am stretching the six by six piece of paper so that it will go across the card. And there is going to be a seam, but I will just cover that up for the most part and then for what does show it's really not going to be that noticeable I wanted to give you guys some different types of cards like definitely a2 but also you know I did a couple of slimline um, I'm also here at the end the last two cards cards 9 and 10 are going to be alternative uh, sizes and so you know you can do whatever your heart desires you're not limited to an a2 you can definitely go beyond that with these supplies so of course like i said before i had to use this little cat curled up in the chair and it's so funny because it has this little mouse and there were lots of mice in this collection. I felt like there were also lots of hearts and stars, um, but that's okay. So I am going to use all the mice on this one card. Like this house is infested, you guys. At least it's with cuteness. <laughs> because it's a card otherwise it would be quite scary anyways so I'm gonna put these little mice all around there's a couple of holes um, where they are going to you know get in and out of the walls and then on the inside of my card it's kind of like the inside of the wall and the little mouse house And I really wanted to use uh, the little candy uh, bubble, thought bubble, but it just didn't work for my layout. And so I brought in this other um, little circle from the chit chat. And you'll see that when I'm done with my card. So these little mice are in the wall just sleeping in their match boxes and one is chowing down on a big cookie and I just think these are adorable and for me I really didn't mind uh, the pattern paper not stretching the full length of the card especially because I had that big mouse with the cookie to kind of finish off the end there. You could also fishtail that and if you wanted to, but I kind of liked just having that mouse right there to kind of finish it off and make it all look intentional, which it was. So they're all at peace because they have visions of sugar plums in their heads. And I realized I had one little mouse left over. So yeah, I'm not gonna put him anywhere else. So he's gotta go on this card. And of course, I just played with my location, location, location. Okay, card number nine. So I am scoring this at two and three quarters. And then I flip my paper and do that again. And then I'm cutting this at six. So basically, this card will fit in a six by nine envelope. Um, I just wanted to cut it at six so that my paper would be tall enough because I have a six by six paper pad that's why so this is a very unconventional card size it's it's not a specific card size it's just tailored to my needs so in the odds and ends there were two pieces of ephemera one with a boy one with a girl where they're peeking out the window in total amazement and so for me of course they're seeing santa claus <laughs> right there going down the chimney so yeah this is a scene card even though it's very basic 
And I just think it's so cute. So my son, when he was three, I took him to see Santa at the local mall. And we, he went along with it and we were, he saw Santa and everything. And it was so cute. He, Santa asked him what he wanted for Christmas and all he could think of was a dumb, dumb sucker. And Santa's like, well, that's easy. That's the candy that he was giving away that day. So his wish came true right away. And, um, we were walking away and my son was like, Hey mom, where are the reindeer? Where's the sleigh? And I was like, Oh, you know, they're just in the parking lot. He's like, no, I didn't see them when we came in. And I was like, yeah, they're on the other side. He's like, well, mom, I don't believe in Santa Claus. And I was like, um, what? And he was like, well, every time you take me to see him, his face looks different. And I was like, uh, yeah, you know what? I'm not going to lie to you. You've already got it all figured out. You're right. We just made it up. <laughs> he figured it out at three. Oh my goodness. And he is the sweetest big brother because he never spoiled it for his sister. <laughs> Her mother did that. <laughs> so anyways, um, this card made me think of my son and just how amazed he would be if he looked out and saw Santa after not believing since he was three. <laughs> oh, let me know in the comments below. Do y'all perpetuate the Santa myth in your house with your family? I would love to know. Card number 10. I had to use these gingerbread men. To be honest, if this collection had come out sooner, I would have bought the stamp set that had the gingerbread men and everything because I love this collection. I would have bought more of it. This would have been my Christmas cards. But it was a little late, in my opinion. Um, I think Doodlebug honestly has been a little late all year from what I can tell. And that might all have to do with COVID. Like it might all have to do with production and shipping and well, let's just blame it on COVID. Anyways, so I didn't purchase the stamp set, uh, but it is super cute. It's got these little gingerbread people in it and lots of cuteness. So anyways, I am building a gingerbread house because this kit came with all these little pieces of candy and these four little gingerbread and I just thought it was perfect so I'm just going to kind of construct a gingerbread house just as you would if you were doing it in real life so I kept it simple but I think it turned out super cute I just popped up the peppermints and you know, alternated the colors as much as I could. And I really like the way this card turned out. I think it's super adorable. So this year I was not, <laughs> not prepared for my Christmas cards. I did not send cards that I loved at all. I just sent some cards that I had made and that was that. And I just had to be at peace with it because I don't know, the mojo was off. I couldn't find what I really wanted to use this year that I was really excited about. And so I just sent some of the stuff I had made here on YouTube and I didn't I sat down and tried some stuff and nothing worked out and I'm it's all my mojo. My mojo was just off. I really couldn't find anything this year I was really excited about any of the collections. And so, yeah, people just got mediocre Christmas cards in my opinion. <laughs> oh gosh. I think some of that too is just getting in your head about things. I mean, sure, they're cute. They're just not what I had in mind. Maybe next year. So this card is almost done. I did want to go ahead and use some more of these hearts. 
And then I am going to finish off the inside just of this card with you guys since it is the 10th card. And what I did with all the cards is I just went back because I have all that uh, chit chat ephemera and I have a lot of ephemera left over from the odds and ends pack. So I just filled in my cards just like I'm doing here with ephemera and sentiments and they were complete. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for sticking around. If you're still here, I just hope you found it relaxing and joyful. I think the results are super cute. If you have a favorite, let me know which one. I think that they all turned out to be really cute scenes. The only one that's not really a scene, I would say, is the uh, slimline that has the vellum on it. Uh, but the rest of them, I stuck to it. I stuck to the, the idea of having a scene. So this one's not necessarily a scene, but it's cute. So thanks so much for watching. You could find this at the Not Too Shabby Shop. Jamie has it. I will leave a link to her shop below. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a like. Bye.